Hello, it is Violetina coming to you today to say hello, greetings from Montreal, Montreal. And this vlog is just a little uh, haul vlog, a haul vlog. What did I get? A January holiday haul vlog. Now this is what I got. I treated myself to this December and January. <clears throat> Can you see? Oh, NYX. NYX liquid suede. Now this is a um, metallic mat. Now I find this lipstick is very drying to your lips. watch here it's a new style it's a mat and then this one Cover girl. He. What is it? Cover girl. Mac. Pout Mac. What's it called? Oh, Matt, I don't know the name, but it's, they're very dark. I find them a bit too dark than what I like, but they're not bad if you're going out. And this one, this is a nice one. NYX Intense. Butter gloss. Mm. Well, you can't see it, but it's a funnel delight. Funnel delay. And this one I like the best. Edge lipstick, Annabelle. Iris and this is what I'm wearing. So you have those four. Four 
pink lipsticks. And I got a blush. And this is called Rosebud. I'm wearing it. Needs a bit of blending. And what am I doing? I am doing This. This is my newest my newest doily. Now it's it's an it's a vintage style doily. It's an old pattern. And it's called Garden of Roses. Now, what you do is you make the doily. I still have some, some rows to do up here. You make the doily and you When it's done, like it's, you can see it's about a foot across. So I have a few more rows to do to make it more than a foot. And then you make roses. You make roses on the edge of the doily, the doily edge, the doily edge. You add rose petals formed so that it makes it 3D. It will be 3D so that when it is lying flat on the um, table, there will be an edge of roses going all around it. So that's going to be quite nice. I'm excited for that. I like that. Making doily. Making doily. And this is the description. Oh. A story room. Okay, so we have. Garden of Roses story. So you have all these instructions. Page two. And this page. This is the small petals. This is 
regular large petal. Make all that. Make all that. It's just joining of leaves. So you make all that. You make all that. That's quite fun. I like doing that. And I'll read from my book, Woman's World. <laughs> I like getting these books. Let's see what we read now. <gasps> oh, look. Turn extra ornaments into dazzling displays. That's quite nice. Dinner made easy. Dinner made easy. What's this one? Chives biscuits with chive butter. What's this one? Honey glazed baby carrots. Honey glazed baby carrots. Herbed peppercorn roast beef. Herbed peppercorn roast beef. Brownie cupcakes. Brownie cupcakes. Post a delicious New Year's celebration. Post a delicious New Year's celebration. <laughs> and what are these? Oven fried panko crusted tortelloni. Oven fried panko crusted tortelloni. Sounds good. How do you make that? Crispy parmesan crumb coating ensures our irresistible snacks will disappear fast. Three eggs, one and a half cups, seasoned panko breadcrumbs, a half cup grated Parmesan cheese, one half teaspoon garlic powder, one quarter cup all purpose flour, one ten ounce package. Fresh tortelloni, one cup spicy marinara paste, pass marinara, one spicy marinara pasta sauce. That's like a 
Baker sauce. That sounds good. Perfectly. How do you do it? Heat oven to 375 Fahrenheit. Line baking sheet with parchment. Beat eggs. In another bowl, mix panko, parmesan and garlic. Working in batches, court tortelloni in flour. Dip in eggs. Coat in panko mixture. Transfer to baking sheet. Coat with cooking spray. Bake 25 minutes until golden. Turning once. Serve with sauce. Now is that? Yes. Fresh tortelloni cooked. Tortelloni is those little uh, pastas, little pasta rolls. Tortelloni, pasta rolls. Sometimes they're filled with cheese or meat or something, you know. That sounds good. Cheesy butternut squash rolls. Nutty and shego cheese. And a touch of sage adds scrumptious flavor to our gourmet hors d'oeuvres made easy with egg roll wrappers. Mm. So there's the egg roll wrappers and there's the butternut squash belly. That's different. Now, delight in the beauty of Breckenridge. The glowing Victorian town of Breckenridge, Colorado, Peacefully perched among the breathtaking Rocky Mountains offers everything from spas and shopping to skiing and sleighing, making it the perfect snow-capped escape. Oh. There's the town building. Bring in the new year with a spectacular fireworks show. There's not a bad seat in town. It can be seen from almost anywhere in the city. Mm. Hard to show. <laughs> Take in the beauty of Colorado from the back of a dog sled. 
courtesy of Snowcap Sled Dogs. Pour yourself a mouth-watering mug of Fluffernutter hot chocolate. Fluffernutter hot chocolate. This cozy mountain town like a steaming cup of hot cocoa? Take it to the next level with some vodka, peanut butter, and salted peanuts for a delicious winter chocktail. Oh, that sounds good. What do you do? Two ounces Smirnoff fluffed marshmallow vodka, one tablespoon creamy peanut butter, Three quarter cups basic dark hot chocolate mix, roasted salted peanuts, mini marshmallows, whipped cream, combined fluff marshmallow, marshmallow vodka, and creamy peanut butter in the bottom of a mug, and use a fork to whisk until smooth. Pour in hot chocolate and stir. Garnish with a sprinkle of roasted salted peanuts, mini marshmallows, and whipped cream if desired. Mm. So that's my haul for January. Thank you.